Gabby, happy new year, the golf, the PGA Tour, it's back. How you doing? I'm so good, how are you? I'm doing all right. How, how was the new year's? Cause any trouble? You know what? I did. <laughs> Uh-oh. Shocker. Well, yeah, you know. Shocker, right? It was a tequila kind of New Year's, so. Love it, love it. Any uh, any new action down the golf course? Absolutely not, no. Um, once it goes below 50, I'm out. I'm out yeah. on golf. I'm a yeah, sunny absolutely. golfer. I don't. Yeah. What about you? What'd you do? Anything? I've been playing a little bit. You know, a highlight of the new year probably uh, getting bit by a, a dog straight on the schnoz. I went up to him <laughs> oh, trying to headbutt him. He latched on. Didn't end well, but hey, you know, all healed up, ready to go for 2022. And look, it, it's it's cold here in LA, but I tell you where it's not cold. Yeah. Hawaii, Aloha Century Tournament of Champions, why kicking are, off why the aren't year. We there? Yeah, why aren't we there? We're, we're too busy, Gabby. I mean, it looks all right, but I don't know <laughs> if I could do with the pina coladas, beach time, and great golfing. It just doesn't sound like fun to me. It's too much. I, I agree. I agree. Yeah. Love it. But look. We, <laughs> yeah, we, tell, we, let's dive into it. Yeah, we're tell coming off about, a big year. We're we going to start strong. Uh, this is a small field, no cut event, only 39 golfers. And this is a winner's only event. It's like us, G unit. You know, winners only. No time for losers. Xander Shoffley is the only guy who hasn't won on the PGA Tour last season to get a start. He obviously won the gold medal. So all the big guys are there. Roy McElroy, he's not playing. Lefty Phil Mickelson. I'm excited. Some of the big boys. We haven't seen them in a couple of months. So who knows what we're going to get. I'm excited to watch it. This course is unbelievable. Have you ever been there? Have Plantation. No, I, I haven't. I've yeah. only seen it from afar. It looks amazing. It is unbelievable. It's one of the most gorgeous golf courses I've ever seen. I never played it, but I've been there. I've seen it. Uh, it's windier than hell. Uh, yeah. That will definitely play a factor in this week's competition, but... I'm excited to see it. $8.2 million purse. You know, that's my favorite part of every tournament. <laughs> Wowzers. But, but Gabby, yeah. I mean, first first event of the season, some of these guys like, you know, Cantlay, we haven't seen since the Ryder Cup. That's a couple of months off. Right. you got to think right. there may be a bit of rust. And then you've got these guys totally. who have snuck into it. Not such big names, motivated, trying to start their year strong. I'm sort of going with value this week, yeah. but interested to see how they uh, they come out firing. Yeah, it'll it'll be really interesting. Like I said, wind is a huge factor, so great iron players will excel in this yep. tournament. Um, t what do you think about Bryson? Huge off the tee, like I said. Big fairways, very windy. Is that going to play a part? Is he going to be okay Look, out there? I, I mean, what is it? It's 7,600 yards. It's a, a par yep. 73 unique to the PGA Tour. Yep. Which, which So it's right. a longer golf course, but all these guys bomb it a mile. So I don't think length is going to be that big of a factor. I think that the winning score last year was Harris English at 25 under par, and he beat Joaquin Neiman out in the playoff. I expect yep. it to be the same. It looks wet out there, so these guys can go at it. So it's really who can make the most birdies, sprint to the finish yes. line, and that's what we want from the start. I mean, come out strong Thursday. Otherwise, you're going to miss the boat with this one, I think. Totally, totally. Uh, it's a Crenshaw and Cord design. I think you know a lot of people probably already know that. So it's like I said, it's gorgeous. People watch it on TV because it looks as good on TV as it does in real Beautiful. life. I mean, these guys, you know, these guys have designed crazy golf horses from Pinehurst to, uh, you know, some up in Oregon, Bandon Dunes. Best awesome in the business. Stuff. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Totally. On, on TV, totally. it's going to look amazing. Again, jealous yeah. we can't be there playing. So what's the next <laughs> best thing? Next Win year. some money. That's our, that's our resolution is to go there next year. That's it. We'll, we'll fund the trip from a 2022 strong campaign. Thank Thanks for coming. Mm -hmm. Go there, play for a few weeks. <laughs> Love it. And, and they are back there next week as well. The tour stays in Hawaii yep. for two weeks. We've got the full field right. event. But this is a who's who this week. So I, I like where your head's at. I agree. The shot makers will do better. The ball strikers, especially when it gets right. windy. You've got to be hitting it off the center of the club face or you're making up the numbers. The ball will fly all over the shop. Look, the guys who have done well here in the past, Justin Tomith, Justin Thomas, yep. Spieth, Xander <laughs> Shoffley, Rama Morikawa haven't won here but haven't finished outside the top 10. So the good iron players straight to the top of the list for us this week, Gabby. Right, right. And viewership, I think viewership might be a little skewed because people are worried about the NFL playoff picture, college football championships coming up. But there's one way to keep your head in it and watch. It's by gambling. Action, so let's baby. Talk, let's talk about some bets. Who do you like? Who do you hate? Hit me with it. 
Look, I, I mean, I've been preaching all week to the choir saying go the value play because the big guys are rusty. They're not motivated. They've usually got the families there for a nice little holiday. But look, we can't go past yep. Justin Thomas. He is the chalk this week at 8-1. Yep. to one. He's won here twice. He's had two third places. I love his online play. We saw him at the PNC in the offseason. So we know he's been playing a bit of golf. I'm going to go with JT mm -hmm. at 8-1. to one. Uh, And then I'm going with another young guy who's coming off a couple of recent wins, the young Norwegian, Victor Hovland. He plays great in the win. You look where he's won. Twice in Mayakoba, once in Puerto Rico at uh, the Hero World Challenge. He's a great win player. The short game, it's only getting better under pressure. So I like Victor Hovland. Have a big 2022. And if you're going for a bit more value... Brooksy Kepka getting him at 27 to 1. He's looked good since switching to Strixon. Hopefully this year he puts that, you know, beef with Bryson DeChambeau to bed. He looked good in Vegas. So I like what I see for Brooksy. I think it's a big year for him. And when are you going to get Brooks Kepka in a 39 man field at 27 to 1? Please. The okay. motivation's there for Brooksy to get off to a strong campaign. I will give you that, but let me talk about the social side of betting on Brooks. Yeah. The man is in Hawaii with his fiance. Jenna. Let me say that again. The man is in Hawaii with his fiance. Yeah. He's going to be drinking. He's doing activities. I know it's his job, but come on. It's Brooks. You the think he might be a little distracted? I don't think we'll... Oh, absolutely. Yeah. He's going to be on a boat drinking him. <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah. It's, it's, what's today? Fair call. Here. Fair call. But Gabby, mm -hmm. I mean. He has to for... play tomorrow. Guarantee he's on a boat today. I, <laughs> I like the nah. odds, but I don't see it. Nah. I don't see it playing out very well. I'm going to skip Brooks this time. No, nah. oh. you, you know what, Gabby? <laughs> it hurts I, to say. I, I, I love my mans, and you know, I love that he's all about that sort of social side of golf, but I think it's a, it's an eye-opener for him last year. He won the he had the one win in Phoenix, which was a bit of a fluke by yep. making a big charge on the Sunday, but a very quiet year for Brooks. He, all that chatter outside the ropes, that distracted him. He had a couple of niggling injuries. I think he sort of mm -hmm. realized that a couple of these young guys have gone past him, and he's saying... Shoot, I better get out the gate strong here, pick up a win, take a bit of pressure off, and remind these guys I am Brooks Kepka. Because when he's on, he's got that swagger, that pep in the yeah. step. Watch out on Sunday. These boys don't want that smoke. 100%. 100%. So, Brooksy, okay. stay out of the bars okay. if you're watching. Stay out of the bars. Take Janet to a nice sushi <laughs> restaurant, and that's it, my man. Don't be whining mm -hmm. and dining all evening. Mm -hmm. I don't believe it. <laughs> I don't see it happening. Um, let's talk about. The different ways to gamble on golf because there's the obvious picking the overall winner which yeah. you just did um but there's a lot of other ways that you can gamble on golf stay invested throughout the weekend have some fun with your friends um my favorites are to bet place in the top 10 place in the top five love it um i think yeah it keeps you a guy can come from behind he, a guy that's up there you think you're gonna win get shot down at the last round um I think it's an awesome way to golf. So, or to bet, excuse me. Yeah. So, who I, do you like? Top, top well, well, yeah, well, Gabe, I, 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 I think your head's in the right place. I mean, that's what makes the golf betting so good. You've got round one leaders, <laughs> head-to-head matchups, prop bets, top nationalities. So, I think that's what you know draws me to golf every day. Once we're in play for these tournaments, it's not all about pre-tournament betting. But look, this week, thirty-nine uh, players in the field. I'm going to the top thirty market. I'm going with my Aussie boy, Matty Jones, at minus 115 to finish inside okay. the top 30. How hard is it to beat 10 other guys? And for guys like Matty Jones, they're motivated. He won at the Honda last year in the win. He'll be he'll be Jones and it come out strong. But I know this is your specialty. What do you what do you like the look of from what you're seeing at the book this week? I'm going top 10, Garrett. You know I love him. Vegas guy. Okay. Love it. Yeah. Top 10's there. I think that's... An easy play. Top five, Morikawa. Ooh. Ooh. He's on a run. The run isn't stopping. The man is hot. I'm not picking him to win overall. Just yep. top five. Give me, a, yeah. give me a cool fourth place. Yeah, Look, be right I, in the running. I, I, I can't argue with you. I mean, how can you go against him? His game travels everywhere. Yeah. He's the best iron player <laughs> in the world. I, I think you're right. There's, there's no let off. He had a couple of missteps. Uh, you know, in his last couple of events on the Sunday. So, Morikawa, smiling assassin. You love to see it. And, and look, Gabby, that, that's sort of a futures thing going into 2021 when you look at sort of top, uh, top you know, player of the year honours. Morikawa, for me, I think it's his year to sort of cement that number one spot. There's other guys up there, obviously, Ram, Cantlay, but Morikawa, when he's in the mix, he just shows he's got that sort of killer instinct. And 
He looks so comfortable totally. under pressure. Totally, totally, totally. Yeah. Um, another fun prop bet, first round winner. First round, excuse me, leader. Love it. Love it. I like I, Justin who, Thomas. JT, okay. Well, he as, plays well there. He plays well there. Yeah, yeah. I mean, he is that's Aloha, right. king of Hawaii. I think you got him at 12 to 1, round one leader. <laughs> yeah. And that's a good market, yeah. Gabby. If you look at the tee sheets, favor the guys teeing off early because the wind will pick up in the afternoon. But, I mean, oh. JT, he's comfortable in that golf course. He's got the course history. He makes birdies in bunches, 12 to 1 in a 39 man field. Absolutely. But, but see that market, Gabby. I think that's a great one to also throw a couple of roughies in. Because you never know, you know, some of these no names, they get paired with the no names. They're not the marquee groupings. So they get sent off at 6 30 a.m. There's no one out there. There's no one following them. So there's right. no pressure. Right. It's different to weekend right. golf. You know what I'm saying? I get I got you. So do you have any favorites for look? Round I've, one I've got one leader. I want to throw at you. Round one leader, Phil Mickelson. He's in the field this year. There's no wow. one working harder in the off season. We're getting him at 55 to 1. What do you think? I don't. I, I mean, I like it. I'm literally writing it down. I think fifty-five I think I love to that. one. Like, I, I think that is insane. And fifty-five to one will take it all day. Yeah. Low dollar amount bet. A surprise for Friday. Absolutely. Yeah. Let's I do mean, it. I like what, it. What's there to lose, like right? It. With that kind of return, right. you, you know, Mickelson. He's got the experience. He's got the form. He's been playing a bunch in the off season for him. I mean, he, he won last year in the wind at the PGA on a longer course. That's right. what he gets you know, tomorrow, Tina. So, Phil Mickelson, I, I dare say, Gabby, I think he adds a win to the resume this year on the Big Boys Tour. Don't forget, don't just think he's going the Old Boys Tour. I think he's still not just up a victory this year. Age is only a number. <laughs> yes. Yeah, keep telling yourself that when you're out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, turn it up. I, I like it. I could see him... I could see him coming up hot and then landing somewhere between ten and eighteen. Yeah. Uh, at the end of the at the end of the weekend, uh, that's a good value bet. I yeah. like that. Good work. Good yeah. work. Um, a a last a last golf bet that you can look up at your book, whatever book you use, is a matchup. So matchups don't have to be players playing in the same group right against each other. Yeah. They will place. A player with the same money value and give you odds to just beat them overall on the weekend or on a single day um do you ever bet those do you like those oh gabby yeah is is the pope catholic <laughs> i know I, I, i'm talking I'm to a degenerate it. here i don't even have to ask it, but but that's a good edge for us like we know these guys better than anyone we know the form they bring into this the book sometimes i think they get a little lazy and just you know throw the the hat into the wind so I think it's a great matchup. Usually getting even money. Are there any that stand out for you this week in the heads up matchups? Uh, I mean, I, I, I've got my own a couple. What is, tell me yours. Look, Xander Shoffley, Patrick Cantlay, they've got them yeah. in a heads up matchup. I like Xander. Minus 112, very consistent. Uh, I think he's got a bit of a chip on the shoulder, not winning on the tour last year. And for Cantlay, I mean, he was dominant last year, right? He, he took out the FedEx Cup playoffs, won Memorial, won the BMW. He's a Terminator. He's now had a couple of months off. He's got that pressure yeah. of, of being the big man, of picking up all that money. Is he a world number one player? I don't think he is. I hate to say it. Boring, you know, sort of to watch, but he's very good. I just don't think he's got what it takes to be a dominant number one. Him and Xander, they're best Sorry. mates, so they've got him going heads up. I like Xander Shoffley, minus 112. I think he starts strong, and he has hey. won here before. Take it. Love it. Um, yeah. I'm going to take Tony for now. I Love like Tony. him. I know. And you know what? He had a weird season last year with the whole COVID situation. Yeah. And he didn't play as well as we all wanted him to. So I think he's going to come out and surprise us. Not yeah. a win, but surprise us day to day. I yeah. like it. I'll take him. Well, you, you got that win late in the season. And, and Gabby, when we're going out for a money game, you know, I, I know you play for big money down there in Vegas. But Tony Finau, that's the guy you want as a partner. I think in the offseason, I saw that he shot a 59 by making like nine birdies coming into the house. When it comes to raw talent, Tony Finau, what a gamer. Hopefully, now he's got that win. Right. And focused. Yeah. And he's, yeah. he's a focused man in Hawaii. Love 100%. it. 100%. Love it. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right. I love it. Speaking of gambling, uh oh, Mr. Dubsy, what's your favorite game to play on the course? 
Look, I, I guess I'm old school. You know, I, I just like going uh, front nine, back nine, all 18. Auto press is two Nat. down. Keep it pretty standard. Yep. Uh, 100 bucks yep. a pop. You can either have a great day, lose a little bit, but I think it's a great way to get the whole yep. foursome involved. Um, haven't been are having a good playing, run. Are you a force gross or are you allowing a net play here? No, no, no. Al always net play. I, I think handicaps are what okay. make golf so good, but... Yeah, as I just mentioned, Gabby, I've been on a, a terrible run. I, I can't keep the ball in the golf course what right is now. The, so uh, what's the old handicap at right now? Oh, uh, five point something, and it, it's only moving north oh, the way it's looking. Are you even qualified to talk about golf there? <laughs> <laughs> but you know, the worst part is I Coming keep investing. From the 12 I keep I keep investing in uh, in golf gear. It's not helping the course. Yeah, so it's not the equipment. My love, it is you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's true. And to the same point, I took Sunny out to the golf course recently. And I was having, you know, absolute mm -hmm. hundreds cricket school. Like, Mate, didn't you used to caddy? I'm like, yeah, caddy. Not, not play on the tour. Numbskull. Doesn't mean I'm a scratch mm -hmm. golfer. Turn it right I'm a up. coach. Yeah, right. <laughs> Those who can't play caddy. Correct. That's it. And yeah. Caddy I'm a manager of people. Me. I'm a motivator, right. Gabby. That's it. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. Okay, what about <laughs> okay, you? Okay, so just you're, you're a classic straight up. Yeah, what are you? Um, what I gets mean, you I'm going on the right golf here. course? Uh, I, have you ever heard of a game called Wolf? Yes, yeah. It's too complicated for me to keep track. <laughs> yeah, once you get those white claws rolling, <laughs> you're out of it. Um, <laughs> so tell us about Wolf, Gabby. From, from my recollection <laughs> is you have to play favorites, right? You have to pick sound off the tee. Give us a breakdown. How does Wolf Definitely. work? Absolutely. It lets you play with everybody in your group. Each person per tee box is the wolf and you trade yeah. off. So if I'm the wolf, everybody tees off and I pick my partner for just that hole based on their tee shot. Yeah. And you have to be strategic about it just because it's a good tee shot. You need to take a look at the green, the area around it. Is there yeah. OB opportunities? I shouldn't say opportunities. Um, and pick your player on that. And then if you, you both win the hole, you get a point, move on. That's right. Um, so, so if you're playing like a long par five, Gabby, if you're playing a long par five, you're going to take usually the biggest hitter. If they get off the tee well, you're going to say, Dubsy, that's my right. man. I'll ride with him. Or you get off the tee okay. I need someone who can bomb that three wood up for a birdie opportunity. I'm yeah. not going to take um, my mom where it's going to take both of us <laughs> four strokes to get there. Swing like your um, mom out there. Come not. on. <laughs> mom, I love you. I love you. <laughs> In my other favorite game, and it's not so much a game of, well, it's still gambling apparently, but we have a chip. And if you hit it out of bounds at any time, you're given that chip. So if you have to take a drop, chip yeah. is belongs to you. If the cart girl comes around or you pass through the clubhouse, you have to buy a round for everybody. That's brilliant. What's that called? So if you hit an OB constantly, <laughs> I don't know. I have no clue. Wow, Would but that's how it should it? be. If you're a dud out there and you're hitting it out of bounds, you should be paying double. You should be paying for drinks. That's a great game, right, Gabby. Absolutely. we got to come up with a name for that. You know, or if you just accidentally hit it out once and the car girl happens to roll around, not my problem. You're done. Yeah? <laughs> mm -hmm. I like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Plenty gambling game. on the golf course, yeah. gambling on the PGA Tour, two of the finer things in life right there. <laughs> okay, right? I'm speaking of... Let's talk about wagers. Are you you're just a dollar guy? Do we do fun wagers? What or you know no, what? Scratch you know, that. I, look, What's I, the I've worst got a, thing you've had to pay out on the golf course? Pro probably a big dollar amount, but usually keep it pretty standard. Just you know, hundred yeah. front, hundred back, hundred overall. No one's losing the yeah. house. But you, you lead me to think back to the younger years when I didn't have much cash to the mm -hmm. name. Still don't have much mm -hmm. cash to the name. But when we go uh, to golf after high school, or whatever, and we're practicing, if you lost the hole. You'd have to deep pants, take your kit off, run back to the team markers, <laughs> tap them, and then come back, you know, to the green. And by the time they'd get back up to the green, the clothes would be gone. So more than likely, they're playing the rest, the of next course. four or five holes in just the budgie smugglers. Wasn't a good look. And, and this is at a private <laughs> golf course. You can imagine the head turns, especially when Big Dubsy was down I'm to the budgie smugglers. Wasn't think. a good look. Budgie smugglers. That's an Australian thing. I think so. I kind of love yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, not that a good look on the awesome. golf course. Not most no, of the time, I'm actually. No, you boys were allowed to practice there. Yeah. Yeah, not for long. What about you, Gabby? 
What's the most you've, have you lost? Yeah, you know, the car keys. Um, what, what, know, what's the worst? I've got two funny. Well, one's not so funny. One is funny. We were down um, quite a bit of dollar bills. We're down a couple thousand, and they gave me an out on the 18th. <laughs> the Aloha the, Press. Write the check. Mm, write the check. Or jump into the golf course pond or lake or whatever you want to call it. Oh, no. And this was a public oh, no. course, if this gives you any further insight oh, on how no. disgusting it was. Oh, no. Yeah, it wasn't good. Um, so I went into the clubhouse for a drink soaking wet in um, duck shit. Oh, so you did it? I, I did it. Oh, yeah. wow. <laughs> like a full... <laughs> You're, you are loco, Gabby, but I think most of us would do it, no, right? Disease, yeah. I survived. No ER visit. <laughs> Check me out. I'm kick ass. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, that that actually maybe that explains a couple of uh, you know chinks in the armor there, Gary. Okay, N now it's all starting yeah. to make sense. Yeah, I gotcha. Yeah, but we'd all do uh, it. Second one, you have to do it. It's what yeah. makes it fun. Um, second one is one I will use again, even though I was the loser. We were playing teams of two, and it was male female on both. Yeah, on both team. Loser had to switch pants and go get dinner and drinks afterwards. <laughs> Stop it. So my Stop. poor partner. I wore his golf shorts, but like, yeah, whatever. The, sh the shorts? No one cares. The shorts? His, my golf skirt on him was horrendous. Oh, uh, I can't and imagine. Yeah. Yeah, he got to sit in the bar for about two and a half hours wearing a <laughs> Lululemon golf skirt. Yeah. Uh. Legs didn't look good. <laughs> nah, yeah, uh, ungroomed yeah. and all from the fellas. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it, that wouldn't be a good side. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Maybe I'd pay out mm -hmm. that bet. Oh no, no pay option available. <laughs> oh, okay. There, you're ruined. Mm -hmm. yeah. I, yeah, I couldn't cop that. I mean, that's all we're going to see, uh -huh. Gabby. What? Why don't we have that in the off season? These PGA Tour golfers make it exciting. <laughs> we don't want to see playing for for charity money. You know, despite that's a great cause, but. Get your own skin in the game. Brooksy should be able to tell Bryson, if you lose, okay. this is what I want from you. Donate You're a million paying. dollars to hospital yes. charities, but then I want to see this as well. Make a complete <laughs> bozo out of him. They used to. There was an unsponsored, unofficial, whatever you want to call it, event with four PJ Tour players, and it was a skins game televised. Yeah. It started in, like, the 80s, early 80s it started, and I, they cut it off in, like, 2008. And Why? Back in the day, it was Gary Player, it was um, Jack Nicholas, Tom Watson, Arnold Palmer, oh, and they were playing for a couple stars. hundred thousand, which was of their own money, which that was, was a so lot of money fun to watch then. because they're invested, and that's when the the actual camaraderie is shown on TV. Absolutely. Um, at one point, yeah, at one point in 2000, 2001, I forget. Greg Norman walked with a million dollars off shot. of a skins game. Mommy, so let's bring that back. Stop yeah. these, stop these matchups with mediocre commentary and that whole deal. And let the boys play for skins. Donate half to charity. We have to, right? It's right. Yeah. And our social responsibility. Yeah. Of but course. let these boys play with their own money and let's play some skins out there. Hey, if you can't play for money, get off the golf course. You are soft. Hard okay. enough. Put a bit of right. wedge in that game, baby. All about it. Gabby, yeah. say yeah. we're planning for a future event. Give me four golfers. Who do we think would play for their own money? I think Brooksy Kepka would be right there in the mix. JT, maybe. Who else? I'd say Brooks. I'd say Ricky. Tricky Ricky's Ricky. Ricky's quiet. Yeah, I've, I've heard he's, he's out the quiet grave. quiet. Out. Yeah, yeah, he's quiet. But, you know, when you get him in that kind of situation, I don't think the man's going to be quiet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, that Big would dog going to eat. Awesome. It'd be awesome to see. Kevin Kisner. Kiz, Kiz likes to talk shit. Yeah, I, I, heard, <laughs> yes. I heard Kiz, Kiz likes, likes to talk it. shit. I mean, that, that's... And let's I, get like a... Let's love get a to Daniel King out there. Oh, yeah. I, I heard she's uh, she, she's, she's, she's quite cash. fiery. She likes, she'll gamble. Yeah? She likes to gamble. Yeah. Uh-huh. Hey, oh, and yeah. that, that's, that's um, the did, best golfer in the world. A 100%. 100%. Yeah. I played against her one time, and she gave me 21 strokes. No. Are you serious? And She's so unbelievable. That win, didn't, that win didn't feel right. Hey, she a, paid me a hundred dollars. She paid me a, a good win old Benjamin. Win. I was like, this, this is messed up, but thank you. Thank wow. you. Wow. 
I love to yep. see it. Hey, b- big things uh, in the women's game this year as well. Danielle Kang, yep. she she was looking better and better last year. Hopefully, she gets back to you know up to the top of the world. But I mean, the quarter sisters, Jin Yun Ko, mm. so, so many phenoms in the women's big game. Fun. Just exciting there. We got to start fun. touching on on the the LPGA tour betting once that kicks into gear as well. We don't discriminate totally. I mean, back and winners. Absolutely. Love I mean, it. I. I'd love to see it. Who would you take in the skins game? Four players off the top of your head. Look, I, I think or uh, athletes. J- JT and Brooksy, but I'd love to throw a couple mm-hmm. of dogs in there, like Patrick Reed. You know, you, you know, he, he's hungry for a bit of wedge. And look, ma- maybe uh, M- Mozzie boy Cameron Smith, the mullet. See him roll the sleeves up. But again, I want to see it for their own money. Uh, if you're throwing, you know, celebs in there. We've touched on that a couple of times. Michael Jordan, he's the goat of basketball. I think he's the goat of golf betting as well. Can you imagine the Michael Jordan Tiger? Can you imagine the Michael Jordan Tiger Tom? Stop. Love to see it. Who's our fourth there? That would be an unbelievable skins game. Gabby, we're in Hawaii this week, so of course we need a drink of the week. Hawaiian theme, what do you got for us? My drink of the week is obviously the Mai Tai. We've got dark rum, light rum, orange liqueur, almond liqueur or almond syrup and just a little bit of lime juice um so yeah it'll be aloha hello and then after three of those it'll be aloha goodbye (laughs) i'm ready (laughs) heavy pour yes please feed me feed me i mean what a time to be alive we got a big season ahead on the pga tour starts this week in hawaii you know where my head's at I'm going to touch on it again. Justin Thomas, Victor Hovland, okay. Brooksy Kepka okay. as my value play. If you're looking for a deep dive value, I've got Matty Jones for that top 30. They've got him at 150 to 1 to win the thing. Crazier things have happened. Okay. Gabby, give us okay. a couple locks on the way out here before the Century Tournament of the Champions kicks into gear. I'm going props. I'm not I'm not going to take an overall okay. winner. I'm going to let you cover that for yep. us. I'm taking Garrett Higgo, top 10. Higo, Higo, I can never say that, right? I'm I taking Morikawa, top five, and I'm taking Justin Thomas, first round leader. Love it, love it. Okay, let's go make some money, Gabby. And here's a bit of advice. Next time, don't jump in the creek down the local Mooney. Bad things happen, <laughs> huh? I wish it was the creek. <laughs> <laughs> let's have a okay, week, Gabby, come on. Let's do it, let's do it. Cheers. <laughs>